I am a delicatessence solid with melting point of 730 degrees. If you really want to classify me as a chemical substance, I am a salt made up of a metal cation and a non-metal anion. Indeed, I am a simple salt, not a double salt, nor an acidic or basic salt. My cation is derived from a group two element. Magnesium chloride. No, it's not magnesium chloride. Uh, yes, uh, Prempe. Who, who, who hand is up? Yeah. yeah. Magnesium carbonate. No. Mm. All right, I'll finish the clues and see if um, somebody in the audience will, will get it. My cation is derived from a group two element shared from the top of that group. My anion is derived from a group seven element shared from the bottom of that group. My metal cation is needed for bone formation in the human body. Who am I? Anybody? No, you are out. Anybody in the audience? Calcium bromide is what we wanted. Calcium bromide. Let's go to the next um, riddle. I am a system made up of a network of vessels. I am in the transport business. I must confess I'm not too popular like my cousin, who is also in the transport business. Unlike my cousin, who is rich enough to afford a pumping station, I don't owe... No, 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 I heard this bell first. I heard this bell first. Um, Adam. The nervous system. The nervous system. The endocrine system. It's not the nervous system. All right, you claim you are the bell. Uh, Kofi. The limp system. The limp system. Now to our last riddle. I lived for only 39 years, from 1623 to 1662. Yet, I became very famous as a French mathematician and philosopher and physicist. My principal in high school... Yes, Adam. Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal. Now we have come to the second part of round five, where I make statements and the contestants are to tell me whether the statement I have made is true or false. Each school has its, has its statement and they have 10 seconds within which to give me an answer whether the statement may be true or false. If the answer is correct, they get two points. If the answer is not correct, then they get one point deducted from the mark already earned. They can opt not to answer, in which case I pass the statement onto the other school for two points if it is correct, that is if they give me a correct answer, and minus one if their answer is incorrect. So these are the rules for this last part of the competition. Good luck to both of you. i start with Pesek. Pesek, millet and sorghum are, di are dicotyledonous plants. Alex, false. false. Frempe, there are seven lumbar vertebrae in human beings. Yao. False. That's false. She said, an acute triangle has exactly one acute angle. Uh, Papa Kofi. It's false. Yes, it's false. Um, Frempe, an obtuse triangle has exactly one obtuse angle. Uh, Isaac, it's true. Yes, that's true. So said, a changing magnetic field can induce a current to flow in a stationary loop of wire. Papa Kofi? True. Yeah, that's true. Prempe, it is possible to detach the south pole of a bar magnet from the north pole. Kofi? False. Yes, it's false. Perfect. Silica is not an example of a covalent network solid. 
Adam. His fault. That's his fault. Frente, glass is classified as a liquid with a very high viscosity. Yeah. True. That's true. So say, photolysis is the synthesis of a molecule by light. Alex. False. Yeah, it's false. Frente, precision, precision is the closeness of a set of values obtained by identical measurements of a quantity. Is your hand up, Yes, Kofi. Four. He says, in the normal dentition of an adult human being, there are more premolars than incisors. Alex. It's true. Uh, there are eight of each size. Okay. Uh, Prempe, in the root, a high concentration of oxygen accelerates growth. Yeah. Four. Yeah, that's four. He said, modulus of X plus Y is equal to modulus of X plus modulus of Y if X and Y are real numbers. Written by the bell. No, I uh, no uh, the answer is false. Um, Prempe, modulus of X times Y is equal to modulus of X times modulus of Y if X and Y are real numbers. Is your hand up, Kofi? Yes, Kofi. True. Yes, that's true. <laughs> now, our last two statements. So, say, angular momentum has only magnitude and is therefore a scalar quantity. Is your hand up, Papa Kofi? Yes, go on. It's false. Yes, it's false. Um, now, Prempe, a force applied at a pivot point produces a torque. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's true. So that we come to the end of the competition. <laughs> Here are the scores. She said 77 points. Prempe, 81 points. And so we have a winner for the 1996 edition of the Berlin Science and Math Quiz program. But you would agree with me that it could have gone the other way also. So I think I should say hard luck to uh, Princess and uh, better luck next time. But I must now turn to Prempe and congratulate them for a good work done. Congratulations. Well. All too soon, we have come to the end of yet another year of competition. And as the two schools told us from the very beginning, this has been a very, very interesting and keenly contested match. And I'd like to congratulate the winners, Friends of College, for once again taking back their throne as uh, the champion school in the Brilliant Science and Math Quiz. To present, I'd like to say, very well done, um, hard luck, and I know that you would bounce back uh, the next time. Very well done. I now call our sponsors, represented by Mr. Keshi Okun, to give us their address. Mr. Okun. The Honorable Minister of Education, Headmasters of Computing Schools, Tutors and Students, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Unilever, my company, is very proud to be associated with this phenomenon where young people strive to outshine one another in academic excellence. Our pride is not only in the fact that the Brilliant Science and Math Quiz is making a valuable contribution to the development of science in SSS, but breeding a strong competitive spirit in our young boys and girls. As we enter the 21st century, competition between companies for the consumer's custom will intensify. It is therefore gratifying that the Brilliant Science and Math Quiz is creating the forum to develop and nurture young Ghanaians to meet the challenges of the future. 
One good thing about the competition is that it relegates complacency and mediocrity to the background and steps up the best in people. This is evidenced by the fact that most schools camp their students to prepare them adequately for the competition. The results have been the very high standard exhibited by com contestants in the whole 1996 Queen's program. We intend to grant uh, permission to prime time the organizers of the program to publish the questions of the old programs as study material for the SSS students. This gesture is indeed to make the program even more useful to all science students, whether they have access to GTV or not. Now finally, let me take this opportunity to congratulate the winning school for their historic and splendid performances. To the runners-up and other schools who participated in the competition, my advice is never despair. Persevere, work hard, and you'll be successful. To GBC and all persons who have stood behind us and contributed in diverse ways to make us realize objectives, objectives of this program, we register our profound gratitude. We wish, wish you all the very best and see you next year. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call on our special guest of honor, the Honorable Minister himself, to come and share a few thoughts with us. I am particularly happy to be part of the program because I have personally watched with great admiration the quiz competition on Ghana television on Saturdays at 11 a.m. The basic aim of the quiz competition is, of course, to encourage our students to learn science and also inculcate a degree of science culture in the Ghanaian society for us to see science as a way of life. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the importance of science and mathematics as basis for technological advancement cannot be overemphasized. When we take a look around us, we see a whole lot of new and sophisticated things which are all products of science and mathematics. As we enter the 21st century, science and technology are going to be even more crucial in the life of all human beings. It is for this reason that the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service support any program such as the brilliant science and mathematics fee that tries to sensitize the general public and greatly stimulate our students in particular to be interested in science and mathematics, the pivotal subject around which any meaningful development revolves. As we are already aware, that the educational reform plays more emphasis on the study of science and mathematics. All children are encouraged to obtain a basic knowledge in science, mathematics, and technology to prepare them to live interesting and productive lives. I therefore consider the brilliant science and mathematics quiz program as a well-directed contribution to the educational reform program. And the Ministry of Education is very appreciative of the efforts of the company Lever Brothers and Prime Time Limited. Finally, to all those who in diverse ways contributed towards the success of this contest, and therefore to our educational system, I say thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you. Research is a test for two million students. <laughs> uh, uh, 
It's my pleasure to call the Honorable come and do us the honor. This is for 2.5 million cities. That's the trophy presented to the other headmaster by the honorable minister. Until we come your way again with another edition of the Berlin Science and Math Quiz program, this has been your quiz mistress, Marianne Iramadi.